be since TV major at the UK Open. So, it's fair to say that he's been playing well of late. He's been playing well for the last three years, Peter Wright. But he's had a lot of near misses. He has. He has. There's uh, one man that has stood between Peter Wright and a first major title. And repeatedly, it's from Michael Van Gogh. Yeah, should be a good encounter this. We've seen plenty of enthralling and absorbing matches so far today. This could well be another. This is another 43. that could go the distance. Well, it certainly promises a lot, this. Peter Wright, they look like the darts he was throwing on Thursday night in the Premier League when he kept alive his hopes of a playoff spot. And he will go to Rotterdam on Thursday for the final week of league 46. action. He has to rely on results elsewhere. Needs Adrian Lewis to drop points and he needs to pick up a victory himself. But he is quite capable of doing that. These two are in the bottom half of the draw. The uh, lineup for the top half of the draw for the last 16 is now complete, by the way. Michael Van Gerwen against Mervyn King, Max Hopp against Dyson Parodi, Kim Hybrex against Benito van der Pass, and James Wade against the world champion Gary Anderson. Just two more places up for grabs here in the third round tomorrow. Michael Smith and Joe Cullen in the final match of the night for the right to meet Mentor Sulevich tomorrow. Well, I'm right out. Simon Whitlock lying in store for the winner of this one. And Peter Wright threatening a very early break of throat. Yeah, Whitlock beat Gerwin Price early. It was a very good win, very convincing win as well. And although the, the averages, the numbers weren't huge, it was pretty... I was impressed, certainly, with the way Whitlock dealt with things. And this would be impressive. Well, I'm right oh. out 30. This is the double 10, but he will be back. Gurney not got going in this one. Yet, at any rate. Well, expecting right to sooner rather than later, and he's put some pressure on Peter Wright as he looks at double five now. Yeah, there we go, 13 data and the number two seed. Right. Leg, the first leg first. on the ball. On. Yeah, said on the outset of this match that these two players were the uh, losing finalists in the first two European Tour events of the year. Uh, Gurney actually beat Peter Wright en route to the final wow. in Venray in February, won that one 6-4. They also met on the European Tour three years ago in Hildesheim in the German Darts Championship. Peter Wright coming out on top that day by six legs to two. One as Gurney rattles in the big one. One on right on 34. Now then, Daryl, can you follow up that maximum? Well, not with another maximum anyway. It might be a decent visit though, nevertheless. Well, he'll take that certainly as he looks to break back and level this match up. Super Chin versus Snakebite. The penultimate game of the second round of the Gibraltar Darts Trophy. 100. 102 average for Darryl Gurney in his opening round match. It was very impressive. In nine legs with Dave Pallet. Every single one 60. was won in 15 Maybe darts or fewer. Now another 102 average from Gurney here. 46. Maybe enough. Darryl, you it might not be against Peter Wright. From 19. Long way off from both those darts. 59. Mm, Peter Wright has forced his way back into the reckoning in this second leg. He loves trouble 17, but he doesn't on this occasion. Fifty-seven. Darryl requires sixty-eight. Oh, now a thirteen ball. Bullseye gets it. What a piece. And it is a break of throw. Third leg tower to throw first. Came on. Not the recommended way of taking out 68, but if it works, it doesn't really matter what way you go. Yeah, he had a couple of 
neat and tidy checkouts against Dave Pallet in that first round win. 100. The highest being 96. Quickly established a 3 0 lead in that match. Pallet fought back to an extent to trim the gap to 3 2. For, uh, 82. Gurney kicked on again and sealed a 6 3 win. Now then, another one. 125. To be. Hit four 180s in that match with Pallet, did Gurney. Hit nine 180s against Adrian Lewis in his run to the final in Venray earlier this year as Peter Wright fires in his first maximum of the tournament. Now that nine 180s, a joint record on the European tour. 55. Michael Smith. The other man to do that. He hit that in a 6 4 defeat to Josh Payne. Mm. Hit 9 180s and lose a game. Ridiculous. 97. Stephen Bunting hit 80 in one match and that only went seven legs. So, 180s per leg. Stephen Bunting. 60. He's a record. Do you require 142. Now, 142. Seen this already this weekend. Joe Merman took this out. Not going to be taken out by Peter Wright. But if he can, he may go. Well, he's just having a little think. He may go bullseye. Yeah. 65. Because the 25, the extra no, five points there brings him below 61. 80. Very nearly another bullseye finish for Darrell Gurney and a big one to boot. Now Peter Wright with a chance for a third successive break of throw in this match. Two on lead. Shown the third leg. Peter Wright, and that full is exactly what has come to pass it. First game on. Wow. Nobody has managed to hold throw as yet. Peter Wright can do so here. He'll establish a two-leg cushion. That's One not a bad start. The man famed for changing his darts as often as he changes his hairstyle, Peter Wright. But these do look like the ones he was checking the other night in the Premier League. And these ones he's got very good record with. I believe it's three wins and a draw this season. Some of the other darts he's had have not produced as good results. Although it has to be said, he has played some... You know, throwing some big averages in the Premier League this year and managed to lose in a sort of wow, Tim Hybrex wow, manner. Yeah. But he's still in with a chance of qualifying for the playoffs of the tournament for a first time. He's not managed to do that before. And it was Peter Wright who ended Phil Taylor's 12 match unbeaten sequence in the Premier League. Taylor losing to Barnley on the opening night, but then he won 10 and drew two. It was Wright who ended that run with a 7 4 win in the opening fixture in Birmingham a couple of weeks ago. Then picked up another point with a six-all draw against Gary Why Anderson. Not? Was that the monkey again? It was the monkey. The monkey's had a change of outfit and hairdo. It appears this monkey is... Uh, Versatile. Yeah. Well, it appears he, he doesn't really matter. Right He's got a lot of favourites. That monkey actually has a bigger wardrobe than I do for this week. 60. <laughs> Peter, you require 11. Probably not as big as Peter Wright's. Has to be said. Double four now for 3 1. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not helping him, but it's not hindering Three him score. either. We'll return though, Peter Wright, because this is a leg where Gurney isn't really challenging. Well, he wasn't. But now he is, because that's a second maximum for the Northern Irishman. Yeah, Peter Wright has uh, no margin for error here. Double two. Nervy. Anxious times for snake bites. That's a problem, though, in the end. It's just as well he took that out. And the monkey more than happy with that. 3-1 elite. I'm surprised the monkey can... You know, it, it can cope, because that win for Chizzy, which he was obviously supporting, unless it was an ironic Chizzy outfit that it was wearing for Chizzy's game with Steve West. I'm, I'm, it looked like Chizzy was being knocked out of this tournament. 100. But Chizzy is there at his siding leg win, coming from 5-2 down to Steve West to book his place in the last 16 or face Robert Thornton tomorrow. 
96. Whoever comes through this faces Simon Whitlock, who saw off Gerwin Price. And in the final match of the night, Michael Smith and Joe Cullum face off for the right to face Mensor Suljevic. Yeah, Michael Smith and Mensor have a bit of history, fairly recent history as well. OK, we know he's there. Your anti-monkey bias will not be tolerated. It's not a bias, Malarkey. it's turning into a phobia now. One <laughs> for Gurney. Need to maximum himself to get to a finish here, Peter Wright. And he might just do it, you know. And he has great response now. Five maximums in this match. 140 is not going. Gurney nearly took out a big finish earlier on. If Peter Wright can do what Gurney failed to do, he'll have a 4-1 lead with another break of throw. Treble 20, treble 17, ball. The treble 20 is there. He loves treble 17. He gets treble 17, bullseye. One hundred and thirty-six. Oh, that would have been hard to take for Gurney. But Gurney is back in action here. Double 16, he wants to keep himself in the frame here. And in contention, double eight is missed as well. And that's frustration for the Ulsterman. You can see him having a word with himself at the back of the stage. Peter Wright for a 4-1 lead. Double four. Game shot. And there the it is. Leg. Peter Wright. Peter Six Wright is very much in business first. here. Game on. And he has the darts in hand here as well. Darrell Gurney has just given himself a rather savage kick in the ankle there as a reprimand for missing those darts. You can see a 92 average. Well, I mean, it's respectable, but it's not what Darrell Gurney will expect of himself. And certainly not when he's 96. become a very heavy scorer. That first nine is nowhere near where he would want it to be. You know, he'd, he'd want to put another 30 points on that first nine average. 100. Busy crowd here in Gibraltar for the Saturday night. One and there is a fourth maximum for Daryl Gurney. Four in six legs. He does hit them on a regular basis. He's just not been able to back it up with a great deal. It's been 180 followed by 60 or 57. This is more like it, though. This is backing it up, Daryl. This is backing it up. Back to back, 180s in front. Oh, that's seven 180s in total now. In what, five and a bit legs, or nearly six legs, so. Yep. Wow, the crowd. 23. Being Don't given a real treat here. 45. Chance for Gurney to break back. Double eight. Game shot the sixth leg. Do. Darryl Gurney, that seventh more than do. Darryl It's a 12 dart first. break of throw. Good Game stuff on. from Darryl Gurney. And he is back in this one. Hold your throw, it's 4-3, and things don't seem so terrible, particularly when you keep smashing it in that treble 20. One right on 40. There you go, the last four visits, he's had two 180s and a ton 40. Yeah, he's picked up, no doubt about it. But Peter Wright, you know, he's all right. He's not claimed a, a major title yet, but he's still won a number 58. of tournaments away from the TV cameras. He's won one of these, of course, in Dusseldorf. And he makes a living nowadays flying all over the world and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best players. Michael Van Gerwen, Phil Taylor, Gary Anderson. Number five in the world. 60. And he's had his fair share of victories against them, admittedly. Admittedly. He keeps coming up short in major finals. But if he keeps playing like this, you get the feeling that he just has to Yeah, his time will come, I suspect, as well. Massively popular wherever he goes as well. Big fan base all over the world with the World Series really taking off now as well. The World Series about to get going for 2016 in Dubai at the end of this month. Peter Wright will be taking part as Gurney looks at the 170. He's not going to take it out, but he looks at treble 18 now. 
And Peter Wright, for once, is not close. So, for back-to-back -back legs for Darrell Gurney, something he's not managed to do in this game so far. Another 16 will leave tops. And a 12 dart break, followed by a 15 dart hold, and that is very, very good stuff from Darrell Gurney. And it just asks a question of Peter Wright. But Peter Wright is responding in the best possible manner. Well, well Gurney looks a different player right now. But he still is a breakdown hit. A little query about the scoring there. I'm not sure what the query could be, if I'm honest. They hit 140. 58. He's just knocked him out of his stride there. A confused Northern Irishman. Not stroking, Peter Wright. Stroking his chin. Well, there's a lot to stroke. 100. Oh, for goodness sake. I was questioning where you get a Dave Chisnell t-shirt from a monkey. I'm even more baffled where you get a Peter Wright wig from a monkey. 83. <laughs> 99 points clear plus these, and it looks to be another ton plus score. One it is 105. Gets him down to 156, so he doesn't need to use the bullseye when he returns. Good thinking there from Snake Bite. And of course, stand up if you love the darts. Echoes around the hall here in Gibraltar. Peter Wright looking to go within one leg of the third round. That's a great dart. That's another great dart. Double 18. Ooh, right on the wire from Snakebite. Well, when you get hit with a, a 12 dart break and a 15 dart hold, as Darrell Gurney just provided then the best possible response is to fire in a leg like this from Peter Wright. And he's still got loads of time and loads of opportunities to find this double 18, but he only needs one chance at it. And Peter Wright is now just one leg away from the third round of a meeting tomorrow with Simon Whitlock in the last 16. And if you want, look, compare and contrast. Peter Wright was 4-1 up in this game and seemed to be in control, playing very, very good darts. Darrell Gurney came back at him, and you can see there, 12 darter, 15 darter. One and on. instead of worrying, you know, Peter Wright wasn't even close in certainly one of those legs. Instead of worrying and getting frustrated, you know, worrying that you were missing, missing the troubles that you were hitting earlier. He just put it all to bed. He just, yeah, he just forgot about it, gone on with it, and then the next leg, he was mentally ready to go and smash in that leg. It was nearly a 12 darter. Ended up being a 13 darter. And that another 180. is another 180. Whereas you saw Steve West against Dave Chisnell. Already, even when you Chizzy was see. still two legs behind, you could see Steve West getting frustrated that what, was, what he was doing early on in the game was just not there. And it was frustrating. And it put him off and made him less likely to be able to go and throw his best stuff in the closing stages of the game. And in the end, he paid the price. And Dave Chisnell... 41. Ran out the winner. Just the 41 for Peter Wright. Doesn't get him to a finish, but Gurney needs two trebles just to get to a finish himself. Yeah, Steve West completely unravelled in that match against Chizzy. And Gurney is threatening to unravel here as well. We Peter see. Wright will get down to a finish first on the Gurney throw. Yeah, and he's hit five 180s in this match as Darrell Gurney, but it's just been... In between, 60. there's not been quite enough. He's still averaging 92, just over 92. Peter Wright has been allowed to sort of dictate this game. When he came under pressure at 4 3, he fired in a great leg to reassert himself and just display his dominance. And now he gets a match dart for 6 3. Gurney nods at the back of the stage. He's expecting it to go in. It doesn't. And Gurney's got to take out a very big one just to stay alive, you think? Yeah, nods the head as almost as if he was resigned to defeat that. But he is back on the hockey, and he needs to pose something here. 78 80 remaining, three. that leaves 60, but will he get a chance 20. to take that out? You suspect not. Peter Wright for a place in the last 16. And Snake Bite, the number two seed, is there. He's reached two of the last three European Tour finals, and he's still on course for another here.
as we said, a man who's been knocking on the door, and he's knocking once again here. Simon Whitlock lies in store tomorrow. Daryl Gurney, well, he was 4-1 down. He threatened the fight back to get back to 4-3, but Peter Wright just found something a little bit extra. There was lots to like there about the number two seed. But for Daryl Gurney, it's not to be. It's the end of the road. Peter White goes through. And we are now just one match away from finalising the draw, the lineup for the last 16 tomorrow. Final match of the night is on the way. Michael Smith, the number three seed, up against Joe Cullen for the right to take on Mensil Silovic. In the meantime, though, Peter White can go back to the hotel, put his feet up and get ready for tomorrow.